My guest today, welcome to the show, Mr. Henry Washington. Hello, Henry. How are you, sir? Thank you for having me. Absolutely, Henry. I'm mighty excited to have you here on the show. And I know your expertise and specialty is helping brand new uh, real estate investors actually get started in the business. But before we drill down on that, how about take a moment and tell folks your backstory and how you got in, uh, involved in real estate? Absolutely. Yeah. So my story started, uh, like you said, a little over three and a half years ago. Um, prior to being an investor, um, and even prior to getting married, let's say I was a single guy working a corporate job and, um, I had a great job and I also didn't have any financial education. So I made great money and then I was really good at spending that money. So I didn't have much to go <laughs> off of after that. And then I got married pretty quick. So I met my wife and got married. I, I married her literally 365 days on the nose from when I met her. So, uh, I went from the, the single guy mentality to a, a, to a married man mentality pretty quick and started to realize that uh, spending every dime you make uh, doesn't make for being able to provide your family with the things that a family needs. And so I had to, I had to make some changes. I had to get financially educated. And um, at the same time, I needed to look for a way to generate some income. So uh, we were, we had bought a house together. I say together. Uh, we tried to buy a house together, and the bank politely told us that uh, you, you, ma'am, can be on the loan, and you, sir, cannot be on the loan because uh -oh. your your credit your credit is not very not very good. And uh -oh. so, uh, yeah, I was in a tough spot. And so, you know, and then you know, as a, as a married person, you start talking about you know what's our dream home going to look like, and how many kids are we going to have, and where are we going to live, and. I started to realize that I couldn't even afford the house we were living in. How was I going to afford a dream house or, or any of those things? And so mm. I, I uh, after that conversation, I had a panic attack at about three in the morning and woke up in a cold sweat because I knew I couldn't afford the life that my family deserved. And, uh, uh, then, I, uh, and then I did what any red blooded uh, human being would do at three in the morning when you panic about money is you start Googling, how do I make some more money? <laughs> and I just, I just kept seeing articles about real estate book and, and, and videos about real estate and being a landlord. And uh, I ended up watching a video. It was a video of a kid that uh, was a, had 20 something doors and he was financially free. And the title of the video was uh, how to develop your dream life through passive income. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that. And so I watched this video of this 20 something year old kid with about 25 doors. who was financially free and thought, you know what? I can do that. I'll just do what he did. And uh, that was that was when I made the decision that I was going to be a real estate investor and hire myself to invest in real estate. So I immediately started fixing my credit. I immediately started reading any book I could get my hands on about real estate investing, listening to any podcast I could listen to, reading uh, audio books, literally just started absorbing real estate content. And uh, I'd say about 90 days after that, I ended up buying my first property. Uh, and I only had a thousand dollars, so I had to get pretty creative with how I bought it. But